There were some pretty tense moments from advocates against mask mandates today. They rallied at a Board of Education meeting in Danville. Police, in fact, were called to the San Ramon Valley Unified School District Board meeting. Demonstrators, uh, some of them parents, saying they want more control over whether students should be required to wear masks. Cronfors Philippe Jagal shares what happened. Following an hour-long delay in Danville Tuesday, the San Ramon Valley Unified School District Board of Education eventually held its first meeting of the new school year. Hey, everyone. I think we got the message. The board paused the start of the meeting after some parents and educators upset with the school district's decision to follow local and state public health guidance requiring everyone on campuses wear masks indoors, refuse to mask up themselves. We are against these mask mandates uh, to let our children breathe. The Danville Police Department responded to the disruption, but no arrests were made. Superintendent John Malloy says the school district has to comply with Contra Costa Health Services' indoor mask mandate, adding, though, that at this time, the school district will not impose stricter restrictions. We do not, as much as we have heard otherwise, hold the authority to make a different decision. The parents who demonstrated are a part of a nationwide grassroots movement called Let Them Breathe. They feel families should have the choice to send their students to class with or without a mask. They are almost everywhere else without a mask, um, and I would not be comfortable with them in class with a mask. We're seeing tons of mental, physical, emotional disorders from this. For me, a huge fear issue. When I go to the park, there are children that are scared to even walk near me. I've had Friends or kids have had anxiety attacks when their masks keep falling off. This is a huge mental health problem. School starts next week. Superintendent Malloy says about 750 district students have chosen to start the year virtually, but the majority of the student body is returning for in-person instruction. In Danville, Philippe Jagal, Cron 4 News.